Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. Now I've had a couple of people ask me how I attach my Velcro and elastic to EVA foam and plastic. And even though that is a wonderful rhyme, I'm not a rapper, I'm just going to show you the method that I use to do it. I've gotten out some scrap pieces to work with and I have my glue gun on the highest setting. Really the most important part here is just preparing the surface for gluing. EVA foam is really easy. You just have to make a couple of simple cuts in here and then do perpendicular cuts to that so you get this, uh, this cross hatch. We're going to do the same thing to the, uh, the corrugated plastic. It is a bit tougher to do and it's good to hold your knife at an angle so that it, it, like, it creates barbs. how easy that's going to be to see but what it's doing at an angle it gives the glue more place to grab onto this is pvc i've uh, just got some tube and i flattened it out this is a little trickier because you got to use a heat gun on it in order to be able to make those scratches deep enough of course you have to be careful to make sure that you don't warp it beyond what shape it's supposed to be too so same thing have the knife at an angle, make the cuts. We'll let that cool because we're going to be using hot glue. All right, with the EVA foam, simple enough. Now I have this on, on uh, the highest setting so that the glue stays melted for longer. But in the case that, I don't know, you've, you've done this and you're not quite ready yet, you can always use a heat gun to, um, to get it melted again. Put a good mess on there. Take your Velcro piece and lay it right down. Now you gotta be careful with Velcro because uh, sometimes if your glue is too hot, it can melt the, uh, the, the Velcro itself. Then you might wanna put a little bit of a bead around it. Be careful not to get the glue on the Velcro because that will defeat the purpose of it. I like to just flatten it out a bit. Ow, 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 ow. Same thing goes for the PVC. Take the glue really mash it around in there and the reason why I have it on hot is so that it stays melted for longer and you just can get it right in there. It is important that especially with the hook side is that you don't uh, get any of the glue on top of it because it can uh, the, the heat of the glue can actually melt the loops. In case you're wondering how I hurt myself is that was doing some car repair and I pinched myself with the pliers. Yeah that wasn't smart. Okay, so now we have our two pieces. They are both cooled off. And now I have EVA foam attached to PVC. Putting elastic on is pretty much the same idea. Get the glue in. Now when you're doing two sides like this at once, you are going to find that the glue is uh, is going to get too cool and it's going to harden up. All you have to do, take your heat gun and even it out a bit. I usually do this anyway just to make sure that everything is consistent. I guess I really didn't have to do both at the same time, but it's good to know how. Typically when you do elastic, it's going to be on the inside. You're not going to be able to see it. So the best thing to do is to add a whole lot more glue around the edges, sometimes even crisscross over top. And it, uh, it like sews it all the way onto your, your foam. It's on the underside. It can be ugly. It's fine. not quite dry and I just stuck my thumb to it. Ah, okay. <laughs> Don't do that when you actually do your gluing. So now with our combination of test pieces here, we've got some Velcro, we've got an elastic. So anyway, that's my method. I use that on the Mech Warrior, and it has held up for almost a year now with no problems at all. So uh, give it a try and uh, please like and subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys later.